Well, hello there, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, we are getting some basil started, and I'm very excited because basil is one... I realize you can't see me here. Um, well, that's all right. This is the star of the show right here. This is the, the where all the basil is going to go. Um, so I just love basil. I love having it in the garden in the summer. I love cooking with it and making tea out of it. Um, because basil is one of those extremely versatile herbs. Um, not only does it smell amazing, but it, the health benefits of it are through the roof. Um, now, basil is one of those tropicals like um, tomatoes and peppers, and I love growing them too. Um, but probably my top thing to have in the summer in my garden is basil. And because of that, I have over the years started collecting a lot of different varieties. So I bet you did not know that there are, now I'm sure there's over this number, but right here I have 12 different varieties and I'm sure there's more, but this is 12 different varieties of basil that I've collected. And um, I have things like, now of course Genovese basil is a common one that mostly everybody knows and one that they sell in the garden centers. Um, I have red Reuben, lettuce leaf basil, dark opal purple, lemon basil, Thai basil, amethyst improved, and that one is, that one might be a hybrid, I'm not sure, Tuscany basil, cinnamon basil, spicy bush basil, sweet basil, and holy basil. Now this holy basil is, um, basil that I encountered when I was studying Ayurveda and, um, you know, going down that path for wellness, um, trying to recover from the spinal cord injury that I have and, um, also finding balance and, um, stress reduction and relaxation. I came across holy basil and, um, it's a very resilient one, very easy one to grow in the garden, and it recedes itself. So wherever you put it, you'll have it year after year after year, as long as you don't rip it out. Now, this holy basil, this holy basil, um, it fights infections. I talk about it in some of my other videos where I actually take you out in the garden and I show you the plant because um, it grows very well in my garden. And it will be growing um, very soon, as soon as the temperature gets above 50 degrees. Um, since these are tropical, the hotter, the better for these. So I'm getting these started inside and I'm going to put them on my grow mats and I'm going to have a heat dome over them. And, um, in about three to five days, they'll germinate as long as I keep the, the temperature perfect. And for germination, they like between 73 and 81. So these heat mats that I have, they raise the temperature by, 10 to 20 degrees, the ambient room temperature. So um, I highly recommend these. I got these on Amazon. I have four of them. They come in a set of two, and I think it's like $22. If you want to grow or anything inside and get started early, like tomatoes and peppers and eggplants, they need to be started early. They need to be started under heat. Now over here, if you can see it, these are my tomatoes that I started about two weeks ago, along with the basil. So I started them right at the the right point um, for them to be ready to, um, they'll all be coming out of there very soon and going into a bigger container and then they'll, they'll grow in the sunshine. I'll have them in and out of the house as we have some warm days or in and out of the greenhouse. I bring them in and out of the greenhouse. Um, but as far as this basil goes, what I've done here is I took my little, this is a, I think it's glue. And, but this seems like the perfect size. And I went in every single thing here and I made a little um, made a little hole in the center because these only like to be about a quarter inch into the soil. And um, what I'm going to do is, here is my first one. I'm just going to drop a couple of seeds, just a couple of seeds in the middle because I don't want to have to split these up. I'm just going to repot these. Um, from these little cell packs. So I'm just going to put a few seeds in the middle and if I have to thin it, I will. But that is something that I don't really like to do. I don't like to thin 
Makes me feel bad because I consider these my babies. And I, I don't like to kill any of them if I don't have to. But I realize that that is a necessary part of this process to have some healthy plants grow. So it's as simple as that. As simple as that. And then you just cover these over a little bit. And because like I said, they only need a quarter of an inch of soil on top. And we're going to want to keep them moist and warm until they germinate. And then as soon as they germinate, then we can lower the temperature. Uh, but for basil, the temperature can never be below 50 degrees. They will not grow that well. They, they won't, they'll stop growing at 50 degrees and then at freezing, they'll just die. Um, they're very uh, sensitive to cold temperatures. Um, and they grow the best between 80 and 90 degrees. So this is a perfect summer uh, crop. Um, and it's also rich in phytonutrients. It fights skin infections and acne. So we make a tea out of it. And I, I put it in um, like all year round. I put this in like I infuse it in oils or I put it in like all different um, teas that I I make from scratch at home because it also controls blood sugar. Um, it's antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, anti-inflammatory, and it's an analgesic, especially this holy basil. It is a pain reliever. Um, it also has the ability. Now, there's studies out there. You can do your own research. I've read a lot of books and stuff. Um, so I've verified all this information in, you know, scientific you know, books, peer reviewed, all that stuff. But I want you to do your own research because I'm not a doctor. All right. But this has the ability to combat cancer. It's got anti-carcinogen properties in it um, because it induces cancer cell death, which is called apoptosis. Um, so you might want to look that up. All right. So, and then what I really like it for is this time of my life at menopausal time, this also has the ability to balance your hormones. Um, and it supports your heart and, um, it also, basil also is rich in nutrients like vitamin A, K, C, as well as calcium, magnesium, and potassium. So as much as this, as we can get in our diet, I do, I try to. Um, and then it's also used as aromatherapy to reduce stress, anxiety, fatigue, and to promote mental clarity, um, and in uh, some practices, and this, this herb goes way back. It's native to um, Central Africa and Southeast Asia, and it's in the mint family. And it's been referenced way, 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 way back. Um, and it's been used as a medicine for a very long time. Um, so this is not anything new. Like the ancient uh, medicine, herbal medicine practitioners were using this for a very long time. In Eastern medicine. Uh, because it was popular in Egypt and Greece and uh, with the Romans and in India for um, in Ayurveda medicine. Uh, so that is just a little bit about basil. I'm very excited. I love basil. I love it, love it, love it. And when we get to that time of year, when I get to start planting my basil and watching it grow like I've got over here, it's just so exciting, so exciting. Because uh, that time of year is coming when we'll, we'll have an abundance of it. So I hope this video inspires you to um, get out there and put some seeds together. It's very easy. Very, very easy. And I'll take you along with me at this process um, to show you how this stuff is growing along the way. So you can see how easy it is. So until the next video, I'll see you later. Bye.